Hi, this is Graham Jacock. Now, this is very puzzling what I'm about to uh, discuss because Will Smith is a friend to Denzel Washington and Denzel Washington is a public Christian, right? Now, I'm just reading an article here, not saying it's true, I'm just making an assumption, okay? And the headline says, You wouldn't like me when I'm angry, Smith allegedly told Morgan back in 2011. And underneath it, it also says, Piers Morgan claims Will Smith told him, Don't upset my wife in unnerving meeting. But here's the thing. Let's isolate something for a moment, right? Will Smith and Denzel Washington, the pair of them must dis must have discussed Jesus Christ and how to behave, right? Now, if Will Smith and his wife was sitting down, okay, just having a casual conversation, and uh, Denzel just happened to discuss bits of Christianity and that dreaded word that comes up sinner now if you don't know the original meaning of the word okay then hearing the English translated word it comes across as ra something rather negative when someone says you are a sinner it y you get defensive firstly you don't know what they're what they're trying to say or suggest it to you okay but that's why you hold back judgment until you discuss further that what exactly is going on with the word sinner okay now If Denzel had said to Will Smith's wife, you are a sinner. Now, apparently Will Smith would get defensive and then protect his wife. Just like he went on stage to protect his wife after the Chris Rock joke about a, the G.I. Jane remark with the alopecia a problem with her hair. Now, just like Will Smith played Muhammad Ali the boxer, right? Muhammad focused when he was training, okay? I guess. Now, Will Smith should also focus and remember a If someone is a, trying to say something negative about you, or even if you don't know if you, you, you can't confirm it's something negative, you don't lash out. Because <laughs> it's a good day, there's a story not a story, a eh? an incident in the Old Testament, right? And we, eh, Jacob, you know, you've heard of Jacob wrestled the angel, okay? And the angel was overthrown. I think that's a U2 lyric. Eh, was it Bullet the Blue Sky? I think that's, I think that's the song it's from. Anyway, You see, the angel is a bit a uh, it's demonstrating a way of how to behave. You in the Bible angels have more power than human beings, but here in the, when Jacob wrestled the angel, the angel didn't use 
his powers. And that angel is reminiscent of the precedent that Jesus Christ set. Jesus Christ, right, when he was preaching, was tortured, right? The Romans, when he was on trial, but Jesus did not retaliate, did not lash out. And it, that incident uh, when Jacob wrestled uh, the angel reminds me of how Chris Rock behaved. You see, the angel is represented by Chris Rock and Jacob is represented by Will Smith. And Will Smith went over and slapped Chris Rock. But Chris Rock could have gone the way that all cultures eh, would insist upon. You retaliate. But he did not retaliate. He was shocked. And you can hear that in how he he formed sounds uh, what's going on. He was literally shocked. Or he's a very good actor. Now, when Will Smith a uh, behaves in public or b behaves in behind closed doors he has to focus and remember how Jesus behaved not to take it personally because like w when a uh, Jacob wrestled the angel you the Jacob defeated the angel that doesn't mean anything because the angel was part of something bigger than Jacob. And you have to remember that when you're getting revenge. Getting revenge does not... You, you're not comprehending the bigger picture. When you get revenge, you are the centre of the attention. You know, it, it's... The, it's ironic, it's the debate that atheists always throw down. He says, Christians, you're not the centre of the world, God doesn't exist. But ironically, when you take matters in your own hand, when somebody interacts with you, you become the centre of the attention, the, the centre of the world. You become the judge over people and that is a dangerous precedent to set anyway enough ramblings bye for now